Right then, here we are. One second. I'm just going to get the old thingy up. So, what have I got in store for you today? Well, some weird, crazy items. One second. It's just loading. I hope there's not going to be duplicate sound. Oh, one second. One second. Right, there we go. Right, pause it. So, uh, yeah, I will, I'll I'll wait for a few people to pop in the live chat. Um, how many people are watching? No one's watching as of yet. So I'll wait for a couple of people to pop in the live chat and then I'll get started properly. But yeah, quite a lot of stuff today. Um, yeah, got a real, real variety of stuff. Um, really different, few, few different items, few nice items, a few things that, um, I didn't really look over properly on the on the photos um, uh, when I was when I was bidding online. There was a few unexpected things that were like Brucey bonuses in the in the actual uh, lots that I bought. Um, but yeah, if you could see my bed right now, it's packed. It's packed full of stuff. Um, I've actually put a cover. Well, my mum put a cover over the bed because. Um, I've got some sort of dirty stuff, so I don't want my bed, you know, my actual bed cover getting really messed up. So there's a bit of a cover over the bed um, because of that. But yeah, we've got two people watching now. Um, yeah, so I'll get on with it. So uh, I'll whack in the chat actually very quickly. Um, we've got Southwest Sellers and we've got Daniel. Um, so yeah, anyway, I will get straight on with it. Um, one second, I'll just get this. Uh, this is my little like auction thing, you know, the little. Thing you get from the auction invoice that's what i want to say invoice i paid 108 pounds uh i paid 108 pounds 45 for the uh, entire lot so that was pretty good hammer price was 87 pound and then i had 18 pound 32 of charges including vat so i thought you might like to know that um i will break it down into sort of job lot prices as well or lot prices um Afternoon, watching while packing 40 items. Oh, 40, that's crazy. I, I, I think I did about 18 on eBay over the weekend, which yeah, was okay. But obviously then I had Amazon. I don't know how many I did on Amazon, maybe another 10 to 15, something like that. So I might have had, let's say it's 15, because I think that's maybe more like it uh, from sort of Friday night to Sunday night. Um, I've probably done about 30 odd items this weekend. It was okay. It, it wasn't a wow, a wow weekend or anything. Um, I, what was I going to say? I, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was all right for June. You know, it was all right for June. I did well over my hundred pound both days, but I didn't top the 200 quid. So yeah, it was, it was all right. Um, Stop moaning, Darren Phoebe says. Um, hi, Phoebe. Hi, Philippa. All right, there's plenty of people in here now, 13 people watching, so I'll get straight on with it. So I'm going to do the bigger items first. As the title suggests, there's everything and anything in this haul. I've even got a ukulele. Yes, as it says in the title, I've even got a ukulele, which is really weird. And I will show you that, but we'll get to that. So first off, this was the thing that... Uh, you know, like auction photos are really crap. Whichever auction you look at online on their photos, they're always crap. They seem to be always crap. Well, these photos were actually, well, this one photo of this, these items were actually okay, but basically it was like an impulse bid. Um, and I didn't really research it before before the auction. I actually researched it basically a few lots before it was coming up. So. I didn't look at the photo properly, and these do look pretty, pretty rusty, pretty beaten up. So I don't know whether I've made a bit of a mistake, but certainly I'll get my money out of them and a little bit of profit. Um, it's just whether I can get the sort of the money that I was thinking I could get from them. But anyway, I'll show you them. Um, they are quite heavy, so I'm just going to flip back onto me, uh, my screen, so and I know where I am because this is quite a big item. So it's a ammunition box or ammunition chest or whatever you want to call it. I would say more box for this one minute than a chest. Um, it does have some writing on it. One second, if I flip it around the other way. Where, where's the writing? That way. This is probably going to be upside down for you. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's upside down. But it says discharges, uh, fuse discharges or something in there. 
Uh, obviously, they're not they're not in there now, but I mean that's what used to be in there. Um, and I say it's like a, a wooden ammunition box. Does have some very very faint writing in red on the top there. WR22. So I don't know what that means. Um, obviously, I got this from Warrington. So is that maybe what I know? Maybe no. That's that's probably a bit of a stretch. WR Warrington. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. Probably a bit of a stretch for that. But um, yeah. Anyway, that's iron. But as you can see, it is a bit beaten up. It's. I mean, you can call it patina, and you could get away with calling it patina, and someone might like the look of it. But it does just look a little bit too beaten up for my liking. But you never know. Someone might love that about it. So. You can't really judge a book by its cover, but yeah, I'll put that down there. Um, I mean, there's a few little screws. I think there's a couple of screws not in place. And as I say, corners are beaten up and stuff. But yeah, someone might like that. I, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to flip on to the chat. Um, was selling an average of three items a day. Had three non-sale days in the last week. Never happened before. I've... I think the last non-sales day was a fair few months ago for me now. It's very, very, um, very, very, very unlike me, unlike my business to get a non-sales day. But it does happen and it can shock you a little bit, especially when you've got such a large inventory or, you know, you've had such consistency over the past few months or whatever. But, you know, you just got to deal with it and keep listing and, and get on with it, really. But it can shock you. I mean, I, I do remember I did have one. It was... It was a few months ago now. I want to say it was maybe start of the year, maybe around that time. I don't know. It was quite a few months ago, but I think it was this year. Um, and, yeah, it, it wasn't great. You know, it's not a nice feeling. Um, I mean, I've had a fair few low sales days since then, like, you know, 20 quid, 30 quid, really quite low. But I've not had any, like, non-sales days, which I'm thankful for. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I do list quite consistently. I am... A person who does believe uh, you need to list every day, or at least, you know, if you're if you're not listing every day, at least five days out of the seven, you've got you've got to list. Um, but I generally list every day, and even if it's only one or two items, I'll list it. Um, the W uh, WR22 is a German single shot rifle. Oh, nothing to do with Warrington men. Uh, maybe the previous owner kept ammo for it in there, or the gun itself. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And this is the other one. This is the one that I was more concerned about when I picked it up. Um, and I'll flip back onto my little screen so I can see where I am again. Um, this one is quite heavy, actually. So I'm not going to hold it up for long. But can you see that on there? It's very, very rusty. Um, it's a metal like ammunition case again, ammunition box, chest, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's just... That rust might be attractive to someone, and they might buy it, but I, I just don't know. I just think that's maybe a little bit too much rust on there. You know, like, there's, there's patina, and then there's just something that's, like, really rusty and just roached. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I made a bit of a mistake with them, too, but I'm sure I made something on them. Um, but maybe not as much as I hoped. I don't know. Maybe I can. I'll have to have a look at maybe similar ones on there and see if anyone's got some listed that are pretty beaten up and maybe see their prices and stuff like that and look at solds and you know all the all the usual stuff but yeah those were those anyway so oh i paid 10 pound plus commission for them obviously i paid 108 pound 45 for the lot but i paid for that those two i paid 10 pound plus commission so i think it was like 11 pound 90 or 12 pound or something like that um, so yeah, not too bad, not much of a loss if I have to take anything on them, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that one, I'm not too displeased with that one, but the other one, yeah, I just, I just did get a bit like, don't know, I don't know, but, um, right, I just gotta get this box from under here, right, there we go, uh, right, we'll just do this random little game, this was in the, I bought a shelf of miscellaneous items, just because I thought it was funny, and I'm going to actually invent something new, which is called the comedy bid, which is where every time I go to an auction, I'm just going to put a bid on something that's really cheap just for a laugh, literally just for a laugh, and see if I can sell the stuff out of it. Like this time I've got like a, a ukulele and a mirror and some weird like 
tribal picture or something. I'll show you it in a minute. Um, but I've done that on a few occasions now. And I just think it's funny and it just spices up the, the job a little bit. And if you're only spending like, you know, five, six quid plus commission, you're going to make your money back off the stuff that's in the job. Like you're going to make a bit of profit and it just gives you a bit of a laugh and, and sort of it helps you diversify as well. So this was part of my this week's comedy bid, um, as I'm calling it. And it's a Waddington scoop game. I've actually, I don't know whether I've had this one. It's a, a game by the makers of Monopoly, obviously Waddington's. Um, but did Parker Brothers, I think, did, does it change over to Parker Brothers now, Monopoly? I see their sign on there. But um, yeah, anyway, at the time it was made by the makers of Monopoly. I've seen this before. Obviously, it's like a, a news game or something like that, Scoop, and it's got the, the newspaper inside the letter in there. I, I honestly don't know what it's worth. It's probably quite old. It's probably 50, something like that. I don't know. But I'm, I'm just guessing at the age. But it, it's got to be something like that, 50, 60s. Um, doesn't say anything on there. No, I can't find anything there. But that was just in the little lot. I suppose I'll get some money back for that. Obviously, I've got to check that it's complete. Um, I got uh, this. I'm not sort of going by lot, unfortunately. I'm just going to have to sort of just go by bag. So some of the stuff isn't in the same lots. But I'll tell you which is which and what's in the same lots. Um, Irving Lucas Bowles. Oh, what's that? Hettles. Oh, God. I, I can't even say that. I don't even know what. I don't think you're going to pick it up on camera, but I can't even say that. It's like a w really weird name. Lut Lutus? Um, anyway, Amsterdam. So it's from Amsterdam. Three quarters of a litre. So I'm assuming that's three quarters of a litre. Nice little sort of stoneware bottle. Um, I don't know what I'm going to price it at until I research it. Um, but I would suspect something like that would be sort of £15 range. But again, I don't know what I'm going to price it until I've done some, some research. But a lot of bottles will go for, you know, you know bread and butter money, that sort of area. Um, I've got this one here, Pi, Pi 9 Koi Limited. Ply 9, Ply 9 Koi Limited, I think. Um, household, um, ha household Ammonia. Isn't ammonia poisonous? Look at that household ammonia. What the hell? Now that might be worth something because it's got that like sort of poison type reference in there. I think ammonia is very harmful to you, isn't it? So yeah, that might be that might be worth something because of that little reference there to, to the ammonia. Um, it is illegal for any any other than Ply9 Koi or Co Limited to refill this bottle with ammonia. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> anyway, so that's that one. I'll flip back onto the chat for a bit because I know where I am. That version of Scoop is 1950s, yeah, for so. Lagging ads. Oh, no, is it? Is it a bit funny? It was okay yesterday, but the funny thing was it was really bad on my end yesterday, um, but it didn't seem like anyone was uh, worried that it was bad on their end. But then today it's okay my end, but it's bad your end anyway. Sold the scoop game to the Green Party HQ last year. Wow, that's a that's a weird place to sell something. Uh, nice with a rum. Oh, what? Oh, no, not that. Um, right. I don't know what this actually is. It's like a... I hope I'm in the frame there. I hope I'm in the shot. Um, it's like a roller cotton. I don't know. It's a, a, a... Oh, I know what it is. It's a paint roller, isn't it? Um... Actually, let's let's see. Oh, my God. oh yeah, go in there. Yeah. God, it's so hard to get out. Oh God. Anyway, that's what's in there. All like paint roller things. Don't know whether that's going to be worth something, but it's uh, definitely vintage anyway. Um, again, I would sort of guess 50s at that, I would say. 50s, 60s, something like that for that one. Don't know, but that's cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. And the, um, it's nice inside, actually, the condition. So that's that one. Well, there we go. Um, now, these were cool. 
That uh, now that was out of my um, the nine pound job lot. The bottles came in a job lot for uh, mixed bottles, including we Wexham and Chester. Five pound plus commission. All the bottles were so any bottles, any bottles you see were in that five pound plus commission job lot. And I thought at five. I wasn't originally going to bid on them, but I thought at five, uh, it's worth it. So. Uh, this was in the nine pound random shelf job lot, the comedy bid, um, and this is a Crusay, Le Crusay, which I believe is rather good, rather good make, solid, uh, you know, so solid pans and stuff. Um, and I think we did like castle audition and things like that. Number twenty six. Don't know what that means. Maybe a product identifying number or something. I don't know, or you know, a product line number. Um, made in france so it was made in france and very very heavy thing got a nice wooden handle on it uh really nice sort of color and that's like the color of the Le crusade things you see uh like a sort of a ready orange color it's quite a sort of like blood orange i would say it's quite a nice color there so that's that anyway that was in the little thing i i think there is some good money in that but i'm gonna have to do some more research but i do think there's some good money in that and that was one of the things out of the lot that sort of drew me to it. Um, and then, I don't know what this is. I've seen them before. I'm sure I've seen one of these before. I don't know where, I don't know when, but I'm sure I've seen one before. Um, we've got Philip, yeah, we've got Philip in there, we've got Lisa in there, we've got the Hyper Pickle in there. Uh, you didn't miss much. I'm just doing a bit of rambling about some stuff I ended up buying at the auction. Um, yeah, so I don't know what that is, but it was in the £9 plus commission job lot. Again, random job lot. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm going to have to do some more research on that. What could that be used for? That's what I want to know. What could that be? There's got to be some logical use for that. Hmm, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to think a logical use for that, but there's got to be one or else it wouldn't exist really, would it? Uh, they wouldn't make them, but yeah, that's that anyway. Maybe, no, I, I was going to say something to do with sewing or knitting or something. Maybe not. No, I don't, I don't think so. But yeah, that was that again in the job lot. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. Here we go for Darren, ukulele. I don't know how to do it, and I think it's out of tune, but there we go. Locking out, locking out. Um, for your six-pack ads. Chuck it in the bin. Exercise wheel. Is it an exercise wheel? Is that what it is? No, it isn't. No, it isn't that, is it? Really, it's an exercise wheel. Oh, that's an exercise wheel. What are you going to do with it? Like roll it up and down or something? That's weird. It, it's sort of like a weird, like sort of rolling pill pin style. That's weird. Yeah, I can't believe that. Right, anyway, I'll have to do some more research into that. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe I'll just, you know, chuck it in the bin, like you said. Um, but yeah, that's the ukulele. I don't suspect it's worth much. There's no brand on it. It doesn't look like amazing quality, although. There is obviously some quality there, um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. That was just in there. I just it took my it took my eye when I was uh, looking at the lot. So yeah, that was that one anyway. Um, look like a young George Formby. I know. I know. Look at that. Um, and roll it in front of you. Oh, it's really lagging. My right, okay. One sec. Let me let me just. I've got a few YouTube tabs open. Let me close them. One sec. Oh, I know why it might be. It might be I've got, I've got game open on one of my tabs. Right, that's all my tabs closed now. I'm going to close McAfee. Right. Is it, tell me if it's any better now. It might be that uh, my CPU or something is being taken up. Not that I know what I'm doing with computers, but my CPU is, gonna, is being taken up by one of my other tabs or something. I don't know. But, um... Might be a bit better now that I've closed a few of them tabs. I don't know, but we'll we'll try and deal with it. If not, if, if it gets really, really laggy, I don't know, I'll have to maybe start up, um, you know, close down the, this actual live hangout and then open another one or something. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so that's the ukulele. Um, oh, random job lot. 
Um, as I said a minute ago, one second. As I said a minute ago, like that was like a weird art in there, like arty piece. Um, I don't know. I mean, someone might pay some money for it. I, I honestly don't know, but it's it was in there anyway um and i took it with me so yeah someone might pay some money for it if not it can just get given to someone it can get car booted it can get gone to the charity shop wherever whatever i do a bit of research or something see if it's worth it or see if it's worth stick, sticking on um and if not as i say it can, it can go somewhere there's always a, a use for it somewhere else in the world so yeah that's that one um what else oh also and these were nice, actually. These were from the comedy bid, the like the nine pound, uh, nine pound plus commission job lot. And these were actually really nice. I didn't see these. I didn't honestly. I didn't see these in the photo. I wasn't expecting these. I thought, oh, these, uh, you know, these weren't just weren't in there. You know, I didn't even realise. And then I walked up to them and I was really excited because I thought, oh, I know what they are. I've seen Chris have them. Chris got uh, not this brand. Uh, or not these two brands, but he's had the water sacks before. I think it's, I want to say it's like a cam camel brand or something like that. Um, I don't know. I think there's a brand, na brand name in it, something to do with camels, I think. But yeah, anyway, these are different brands, but they are quite nice. Um, and I think there's some decent money in them, actually. Um, yeah, hey, uh, hello. Hi, hi uh, Garage Flips. Um, Hey, good morning. It's not, yeah, well, it's morning for you, isn't it? Um, Longykins, just saw you on the chat from yesterday. You never told me you were so handsome. What, the, what is going on? Um, yeah, chat romance, as Southwest Sellers says. Um, right, yeah, so what I was going to say, so £9 plus commission job lock. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are, if you don't know, these are like for hiking or, I don't know, I want, to, I want to say being in the desert, but maybe not that extreme. Um, but maybe just even if you're a tourist or something like that in a hot country, um, they are basically where you uh, fill this up with water. It's like a water bag, and then you end up sort of drinking it out of the tube. Now, one is used, and I don't know how well I'm going to get away with selling it used or how well I'm going to clean it or something. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to gonna do that um but i might, might be able to sell it used i might be able to clean it up or something somehow and i think i might be able to get some money out of the used one but there is a brand new one here um this is a brand new one uh, again it's it's like a, a little water bag thing um it's got its tag on there i don't know about the brand it says outdoor something like outdoor door tea D-O-I-T-E, I don't even know how to pronounce that. It says eight litres, so that stores eight litres, which is kind of hard to believe. That is, got eight litres in that, that's really good. That'll keep you going for, for a long time. And then I think it's got some pockets or something with it as well. But it's quite a nice one, that one. And it's got its little name uh, sort of stitched in there, which is quite cool. Um, but I think because that's new with tags, there is some good money in that. I don't know what Chris got for one of his new with tags. I think I want to say it was about 20 quid, something around that, that area, uh, maybe even a bit more. But if I, I could get 20 quid for it, that pays for the job lot. And the, you know, there's loads of stuff in the job lot, so should be plenty of profit. And if, if that can get me uh, sort of the 20 quid mark. But I don't, I don't know what he got for his. I don't know whether the uh, brand, well, the brand will probably affect the price slightly. Um, but yeah, that was quite a nice little bonus in the job lot, really. Um, so that was that. That was, that was those two. Um, one second. Right, completely different. This is a completely different lot now. Uh, we're moving on. Um, so yeah, I paid, how much did I pay for this one? I think this was £9 plus commission again. Uh, nine pound was like a running theme of this. I think I, I got about three or four lots for nine pound plus commission. Uh, and this was a box of mixed silver plated items, including candlestick and tea set, etc. Um, they're only very short. The descriptions and in the most part on these auctions. I'm just gonna flip back onto my screen so I know where I am again. Um, Right, that's okay. So, uh, yeah, this is like a silver, what do you call this now? Not like a serving tray or something. Not really a serving platter or a serving tray. I don't know what you quite call that. Just maybe a, a silver plated dish. Um, 
and it says silver plate on the uh, reverse of it there. Um, silver Plato, silver plated England. Don't know whether you're going to be able to see that, but no, you won't be. You won't be able to see that. I think it's just there. You're not going to be able to see that. That is pretty faint. But yeah, that's what that is anyway. Some sort of silver plated dish. Um, it's sort of been cut out this way. Which is, you know, quite nice, but it's a fairly standard item. Um, but yeah, that was that. So I, I thought, yeah, that was all right. That, that attracted me to the lot. Um, the other couple of things that attracted me to the lot were something that aren't really worth that much money. Um, or much money at all. But I might just lock these up. Like lock these for you up. Um, is that a what's that? Is that even a hip flask? A lot of the stuff you're actually seeing well, some of the stuff you're actually seeing for the first time as me, like actually up close personal, having a proper look at it. Um, because some of the stuff when I was going to collect, yeah, is a hip flask. Um, some of the stuff when I was going to collect, I didn't really have a look at very much. You know, some of the stuff I didn't even realise were in the job lot. So it's quite cool to sort of have a look at it with you guys. Now, this is a hip flask, but also it doubles as a, I believe that's going to be a, a cigarette case or something, something of the, uh, something similar anyway there on this side. And then you've got the little whiskey hip flask there. So that's quite nice. Um, not really worth much, as you can tell. It's got a barcode on the back, so it's not old. Um, but yeah, that, that was all right. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, I think, is actually lot up the hip flask, maybe. Don't know how well they're gonna go in job lots, but I'll see. And if they don't go well, I'll pull them off and I'll car boot them. I'll put them in my cabinet for a very low price. I don't know. Something like that anyway. Uh, that's a little Jack Daniels one. These are only quite small, these hip flasks. Um and then a Glenmorangie one, single Highland malt Scotch whiskey. I imagine that's going to be a promo thing uh, that you got in, like a you know, a, with a bottle of whiskey or something. Um, but that's that anyway. Don't know whether you're really going to see that very well, but it, it's actually a sort of um, etched in, so there's no actually colouring or anything. So I don't think you're going to see it very well. But it's Glenmorangie anyway. Um, what else did I get? I got a couple of, did I get a couple or did I get one candlestick? Uh, no, only looks like I got one candlestick, which is a bit of a bummer. I thought there's two in there, but yeah. Anyway, that was that one. Um, I got a little thing, like, a, oh, what do you call these? I know what you call these. No. They're not like a gravy boat, are they? They're not a gravy boat, but I don't know what you call them. What do they have in? What, that wouldn't have gravy in, would it? Because the gravy boats are just one handle here and then sort of just tip it off like that. But I, I don't know what you call that. But I, there's, some, there's something that goes in it. I know it. I know it. But, yeah, anyway. It's something to do with, you know, food. Anyway, I know that. Um, I got um, two other little hip flasks there. Don't think they're anything that special, but yeah. Um, and I got, oh, what's that? F, oh no, was this the other lot? One sec. Yeah, this was the other lot. I'm on to another lot now. One sec. One sec, right. So just to clarify... These three, these four hip flasks here that I'm, I've sort of partly showed you, those four there are a different lot. So I'll show you which ones are a different lot. So where that says lot, lot 40, right, lot 40 there, um, that, this one, this one, and this one here, and this one here that is sort of inscribed Jeff, Jeff there, um, that was all one lot. And I took a chance on that for five pound. It was literally when I was um, when I was running back into the room, and I saw that this lot was, had come up. I thought, oh, I should have bid on it, shouldn't I? And I ended up having like a little sniper bid. And I don't know whether I should have bid on these, but yeah. Anyway, that's that's what they are. I'm hoping to get some money back out of them. Actually, these these um, I think that one's leather round it. That one. 
that one definitely is because it says F. It says F hides leather made in England. Don't know whether you're going to see that. So that's leather around it. So that might add something to it. I'm not sure. Um, but it, it's quite nice. It's quite nice quality, you know. So that might add something to it. I don't know. Well, that's those. And I'll get on with the rest of the silver plate. Um, a load of... Again, I think silver plate, but I think it's... Yeah, it's like all silver plate stuff or EPNS. Um, load of forks, big group of forks. That was in the nine pound job lot. Those four hit flats were a fiver, and then this we're getting back to the nine pound job lot again. Um, I don't know whether I showed you that. That was in the nine pound job lot, little silver thing. I forgot what that's called as well. I've seen them before, but I don't know what they're called. Uh, oh, it's got chased on the bottom of it there. EPNS. So. If you don't know what EPNS is, it just stands for electroplate nickel silver. Um, and I think it's just a way of actually plating an item with silver using nickel or something. I'm not too sure, but I know what it stands for anyway. EPNS there, got a little glass dish thing in it. I imagine that's... I don't know, what would you think that's for? Like um, sauces or something like that? I don't, I don't know, maybe something like that. I can see that being... Relating to sauces or garnishes or something. Um, a little EPNS um, sort of cup or wine glass type. Well, not a wine glass because it's, it's EPNS, but a little wine thingy. Or do you still call it a glass if it's not made of glass? I don't know. But, yeah, there's that. And not much left. Um, oh, did I show you the kettle? A little EPNS kettle there. Again, in the £9 job lot. Um, and then another one there. Although I think this one might be for coffee because it's a bit taller. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it isn't, but I think I think it might be for coffee. I don't know. Um, and then what else? A couple of other little bits. I need to be faster. An egg cup. I definitely know what that is. Um, and a... Ooh, is that for sugar? Is that for sugar maybe? that's That might be for sugar. Don't know, but it, again, it's EPNS, so, yeah. I kind of don't like getting EPNS, because I was always taught that EPNS was like, mm, it was pretty crap. Because, you know, like, I don't know, it's, it, it was like bog standard, it wasn't very good. But now I have to look at it from a different perspective of an eBay seller, rather than, like, working at an auction house, you know. But, I don't know. I just kind of, I, you know, it, it was pretty standard stuff. We used to always get it in, and it wasn't very exciting and stuff. And now I'm, I'm like buying it, and I kind of see a different angle to it because now I can, I know I can make some money on it on eBay. But at the same time, it's still pretty standard. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm even saying, but it, it's just weird having both angles, having both perspectives. You know, of, of actually working at an auction house, selling it there. And then actually being a dealer or a reseller and selling it on eBay, it's kind of a different market. And you can get a lot more on eBay than you can get an auction for this sort of stuff. It's, it, it's quite hard to explain, but it's weird to have both perspective, perspectives. Um, egg cups, it's a shot glass. Is it? That's not a shot glass. And have you sold this kind of stuff before? Well, no, because... Obviously, I'm not very good at describing things and stuff. Um, it's a completely new adventure for me, and that's why I want to sort of broadcast it on camera, because it's kind of like I'm doing my first ever video, and I don't know what's what, and I don't know what, uh, and I don't know what prices things go for, and I don't know how to be on camera and stuff like that. It's kind of like my first video. It's like, you know, I, I don't know a lot about this stuff, so I'm kind of just trying to know what I can, do what I can, and talk about what I can, and um, yeah, it, it, it's just, it's a completely new experience for me, so no, I, I haven't really sold much of this stuff on eBay before, um, a few bits I've sold, like there's, um, I think there's a few bits, there may be a few odds and ends in here that I've sold, like I've sold other, yeah, like I've sold other stoneware bottles and I've sold other glass bottles and stuff for money before on eBay. I actually saw one a few days ago actually, but um, yeah, but other like other things like the EPNS I haven't really sold much of, 
the oh I, no i haven't sold a companion set but i've actually got one listed um i've not sold a military helmet i've got a military helmet to show you but yeah it's a really new experience for me uh move the chat back up i put some info for you okay we'll do goblet goblet maybe okay oh i know the live chat's flopping out Add what's the maker's name on the cutlery they were all different they were all different names it was like um oh oh maplin and web that's good isn't it map mapping mapping map yeah mapping and web that's good that's decent i think um yeah, mapping and web. That's got to be. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. There's a couple in here that are mapping and web. Yeah, there's three in here that are mapping, mapping and web, or four maybe of the, of the forks. So I don't know. That that's pretty good, isn't it? Mapping and web. That's all right. Um, and then the spoons. It just literally says EPNS on the spoons. So I don't think they're going to be anything amazing. Um, because they've not got an actual brand name or a maker's mark on there. So. But yeah, but mapping and web, they're okay, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they're okay. Um, oh, wait, it's play somewhere over the rainbow in your rainbow suit on the ukulele ads. You know it has to be done. Yeah, I know, but I won't have the ukulele by then. It'll probably, well, hopefully it'll have sold. They are for booze ads. Hit flasks are for alcohol. Yeah, I know what hit flasks are for. I just didn't know what that was for. Um, yeah, I know what hip flasks are for. Um, what else? I've got a slogan for one of your t-shirts ads. One sec. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I always say that. Uh, one second. I'm just going up the chat. I just realized I have two silver candlesticks that are almost identical to the one ads has. Do they sell for much? Well, silver ones, yeah, would, but I don't think the EPNS would sell for a ton of money. Um, but, you know, it's just going to be like bread and butter sales at, at max. You know, it's probably going to be about the same as sort of brass candlesticks, maybe a little bit more. But if you had like silver candle, like silver candlesticks, and they were nice and they were ornate, then you can get some good money from them. But yeah, um, unless they were just, unless they were just like maybe silver but they were like hollow inside of it we had had like wood put inside so and there's not actually much silver content but still you'd get some okay money for them even if it was that um yeah so that was that um one second move the chat but i've already said that how much do you spend did you spend today at the auction i've said this a minute ago 108 pounds and 45 pence i spent on all this stuff uh, and I think there's a decent return out of it. But anyway, I'm going to get on now. Uh, keep going. So that was the silver. Um, something really nice I got for £10. One second. It was £9, but it was like £10 and something pence with commission, like £10 and 80 pence, something like that with commission. Quite nice. I did pay a little bit up for it. Well, not really that much, but I did pay up a little bit for it. It's a Bakelite hairdryer with a Bakelite case. Quite nice. I will show it you in more detail. I'll get it out in a second. Just wanted to show you the case. Um, but Bakelite hairdryer in a Bakelite case. Quite nice. I'm going to get it out. One sec. Now, obviously, this was sold as, not, as electrically untested at the auction. Um, it's an almond. Almond there. I don't really want to plug it in. <laughs> I'm quite uh, wary of plugging this in. I don't know. I'm going to have to take some um, precautions or something if I did plug it in. Um, but yeah, it's Ormond. It's en Engineering Company Limited. Uh, 230 to 250 volts, 2.2 amp, AC or DC, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought that was quite nice. That's a quite nice item. I'm probably going to be shooting for about 30 quid on this. They have gone for less, but I think that, you know, I think given a little bit of time, I think I can get 30 quid, and I think it's an item that deserves that price. Um, they have gone, as I say, they have gone for slightly less. I think one's gone for about 26. 
think there have been a few that's gone for sort of like 17 18 pound plus postage so like 23 24 um and there's i think there's been a few on auction that might have done a bit less than that but um but i think you know i think it's worthy of 30 quid it's in decent condition obviously i, I want to test it to make sure it's all working and stuff uh, but i am going to be a bit wary of that um but yeah it's just a nice item and i had to have it at the, at the 10 quid you know nine pound uh, plus commission so that's that one anyway. I thought that was quite nice. Um, and the case is really nice inside. I don't know whether you can see that, but it, it, it's quite a nice case inside. You know, not really fancy or anything, but just nicely done. It might have actually been redone or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just been really well kept, but it looks like it's been redone. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that was nice. So I had to have that. That was really nice. Um, how much did I pay for? On set, the military helmet. I've got a military helmet. Russian military helmet, six pound plus commission, so seven quid in total. Um, and this is this one. It doesn't have a lining in it. I, I think it might actually. Um, I think it might, you know, ha have to have a lining in it, or supposed to have a lining in it. Um, yeah, it should do. I think. But yeah, that's quite nice. I don't know how much age it's got. I don't think it's like really old or anything. Um, obviously, I don't think it's World War II or anything like that. Probably, they would probably say in the description, like World War II, uh, Russian military helmet or something like that. Oh, did they? Yeah, they, Russia was in World War II, right? I'm right in saying that, I think. Um, but no, I think this only has a, a small amount of age to it, really. But it's certainly got some age to it because it is beaten up a little bit, um, as you can see in there. You know, so it's certainly got some age to it, but not like tons of age to it. Um, but yeah, I, I just took a chance on that at six pounds, really. Um, I'm hoping that I can get some decent money, maybe 20 to 30 quid, something like that. But you're going to have to check completely in souls because I, I don't know, actually. But I'm hoping that that's sort of around about the price I could get. Um, but if not, we'll see. We'll see. I'll have a look. But I wanted to buy that because I thought it's cool. I've, I've wanted to buy a, like a helmet to resell for quite a while now, a few, a few weeks, a few months. Um, so when I saw it on the catalogue, I kind of had to have a bid. So that was that one. Um, in the... One second. Whoa. In the £9 job lot again. Let me have a look at the chat. Um... Sell the hairdryer to a museum ads. Yeah, I could do. That's a good idea. If yeah, I could actually, I could actually contact a museum to sell it to. Um, like a hairdryer. Is there a hairdryer museum in this country? Um, uh, what have we got here? Do it yourself lifestyle. Let it grow. Let it grow. What's smart? So what's what's uh, been going on in the chat here? One sec. Oh, mapping and web worth a lot. Oh, good. Um, gotta go. Catch you later, Philippa says. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, best way to learn is to jump in. Exactly. Um, sold six forks two weeks ago for thirty-five quid. Oh, well, that's fine, man. I'm good. I'm good. I think I've got about four there, so I don't know twenty, twenty-five quid, something like that, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool, anyway. Um, and as I say, that came in that £9 job lot, so I, I should be okay with that one. Um, right, cool, man. Good to try something new. Hope it works out. Thank you, Lonnie. Um, hopefully, over the next few, probably months rather than weeks, but hopefully over the next few months, um, you know, you'll see me gain more confidence in this stuff because as you can tell now, I'm like, um, I don't know what a, a good... Um, a good analogy would be but i'm just like sort of someone in a foreign place who doesn't know anything and and you're just learning and you're trying to find things out and and stuff like that so it's exciting it really is but at the same time it's like oh you know i don't know what i'm doing still um but you know i, I mean i'll probably look back on this time in a few years time or even 10 years time or so and think that was a really good time, that was a really interesting time and that sort of stuff, even though I didn't really know what I was doing, that was that was the excitement really. Um, wow, for the forks, that was good. Um, 
Yeah, I've already answered that one. Damn, I missed it. Did we get a tune from Ad? I just did a little thing on the ukulele. Um, I gave you a name for the EPS bowl with the blue liner. Um, I gave you a name for the EPS. Oh, it was that further up the chat. One sec. It's it's really going weird on me, the chat. Second one is a hot water jug. Uh, oh, I know which one that is. That one. That one's a hot water jug. All right. Okay, cool. That, that'll help me out with research anyway. Um, are you sure that's a shot glass, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. What's a shot glass? That, what's that? An egg cup. Yeah, no, that's what I said. Was well, someone saying it's a shot glass? It's an egg cup and you put the spoon in it. Oh, in the little bottom bit? Yeah, the little gap bit. Okay. Did you... Uh, uh, I'm just trying to think. Did you even get in the camera then? Um, right, who is there now? Uh, I gave you a name. For, oh, right, yeah, I'm just trying to look. Second one is a hot water jug. It's called a salt. What, the, um, you mean that thing? Just a salt, is that what it's called? Do you mean that thing? Um, yeah, anyway. Sorry, I'm way behind with the chat. Um, right, that's that. I'll scroll down the chat now and then get back into it. I need two people to do this, I swear. Um, Hi, ads and people. Um, yeah, do it yourself. Lifestyle says it's an egg cup, egg cup. Not even a hello, hello from ads, mom. We want you to say hello. Well, I don't know whether you heard that, but she said hello. Um, but can double as a shot glass when it's whiskey time. All oh, right. Yeah. Um, right then. So that's that. Let me. Um, we've got the fishing stuff to do, but let's leave that for a sec. Right. Nine pound job lot yet again, so we're still not done with the nine pound job lot. Basically, it was a full shelf of stuff, it was a full shelf of stuff for nine quid, and I was really happy about that. Uh, a big mirror, probably gonna go to, to a car boot or something, or I, I don't know, I honestly don't know with this. I might put it on eBay and ship it out, it's quite a heavy item. I'd have to be very, very, very careful if I ship it, but I know there's a fair few people who do ship mirrors and, and really heavy breakable items, or heavy items at least, um, and they seem to do it fine. So I might be able to get a few tips off a few people if I do decide to sell this on eBay, but you know, I don't think it's a, an amazing mirror or anything like that. I'll just show you the back. Um, you know, I don't think it's anything amazing. Um, but that was that. That was in the job lot, so I kind of just took it with me. I wasn't going to leave it there. Um, one second. Right. Um, right, so that's that one. One second. I just moved this onto here. This was a like a cutlery service. Um, and who was it? Viners International. It's a big cutlery service. Viners International. A load of stuff. Um, if the mirror owes you not much, definitely ship it, it will be fine. Uh, the mirror won't owe me anything, like if I sell one item out or two items out of the job lot, uh, by the time, you know, before I sell the mirror, then the mirror's going to owe me nothing, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, this is Viner, Viner's International Stainless Steel Hong Kong Executive Suite, so that's what it says on there. I'm just going to see. It's a generic term for blue glass line DPNS, it does sell. Usually comes in twos or threes. One is for salt, smaller ones for mustard. Ah, right, okay, I get it. Um, right, I'm just going to show you this here. You said this was good, didn't you? Me? This Viners. Yeah, Viners is good. Cutlery. Yeah. I don't think Viners you're going to. Yeah, Viners, yeah. Yeah. Um, the design but isn't it... up to date, but. No, that's. But, it might have come but, there's, back in. but there's lo loads and loads. Oh, Grandma has this, doesn't she? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that design might. Have come but back lo in now. loads of forks, loads of knives, everything in there. I don't know whether I'll be able to get it. Canteen of cutlery. Canteen. Canteen of cutlery, apparently. So. It'll say how many pieces, how many settings? It might say like 
10 settings, 8 settings. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it'll say it somewhere, but I'm not going to look at that now. But that was that was in the £9 plus commission job lot, again, which is crazy. So I'll get my dressing gown out of the way. Um, yeah, which was crazy. So, you know, tons of stuff off that job lot. Couple of charity shop purchases now. Couple of charity shop purchases. Um, £1.50 for this. Breaking the whole antique vintage stuff up a little bit with a couple of bits of media. Because um, I'm, I'm just that super generalist, you know. Um, yeah, it's brand new and sealed, Sex in the City, season one or something, £1.50, £10.95. On which other channel could you get things from ukuleles to hair dryers to sealed media? It's just insane, isn't it? Um, yeah, so that goes for about £10.95 on Amazon, so that's where that's going, £1.50. And 99p, this was in software. It was, uh, I always scan these in when they're sealed, these drivers, DVDs, because um, sometimes they do okay. Uh, when I say okay, I mean like only very, very bread and butter stuff, sort of six, seven quid. Um, this one was 3,000, ranked 3,000 in software. I'm not really clued up too well in my software ranking. I think 3,000 is okay. I think it's okay. I don't think it's the best rank, but it's okay in software. So I did take a chance on it, picked it up. Uh, three pound merchant fulfilled, or two or three pound merchant fulfilled, it's going for. Uh, no FBA offers for new. Um, or was it, or was it two or three pound used merchant fulfilled? But anyway, I think I was uh, looking at getting about seven to ten pound for that. So that's what I'm going to send it in at. Um, but I don't know whether it was two to three pound used merchant fulfilled, and then it was a bit more new merchant fulfilled. But there was no FBA offers anyway, which does worry me a little bit because I think oh, is the rank a little bit too high, and that's why people aren't sending it in. But anyway, I'm going to send it in because it didn't cost me much. Um, this was in the bottles job lot that I basically, an impulse bid that I paid £5 plus commission for, along with the, that ammonia bottle and the other bottle, the tall brown one. Um, so I'll flick onto the chat again. Um, is the canteen wooden? No, it is not. It's, or is it? Yeah, I think it is, but it's like, um, it's covered in this sort of, I don't know what you call it. It's covered. It's covered in something. Right, she says she let me have a look. There you go. That's the that's the little thing there. I found found this. Yes. Found this. What's covered in wood? What's what's this covered in? Um. It, it is wood. It is wood, but it's covered in something. I think it's wood underneath. Very cheap wood. I think. I don't think it's very great wood, but it's cut. Don't, don't, don't peel it off. Okay. It's just like a jewelry box, sort of right. like usual canteen is It's not. It's right. not uh, a skin. It's not a it. skin. No, it's not like a. And it's not leather. No, it's not leather. No, no, it's not leather. Last canteen of cutlery in a solid wood, wooden canteen sold for two hundred ninety nine pound. That's not to say we're going to get that for that one, by the way. No, no, no. But still, I think there is some good money in there if it's uh, properly, uh, you know, if all the things are in there and stuff. What? Handy to know. Yeah, handy to know. Uh, this was a Boots Cash Chemist um, little bottle confection of Senna, I believe. Senna, I think that says. Um, yeah, a little bit cracked, crazed all around uh, inside there. I don't know whether that's... Um, on me, one second. Uh, yeah, cracked, crazed. Don't know whether you can actually see that very well, but it isn't the best condition. Um, I think that could be, um, you know, I think that could be collectible to someone, just the right person, even with the damage. So I am still going to list that and hopefully get a little bit of money out of it, but I don't suppose it's going to be much. Um, but yeah, that's that. It is an unusual item. It's a cool item, obviously, with it having relation to boots the chemist there is pretty cool um so that's that one again out of a you know a five pound bottle job lot um a little gemton where is that gemton where i don't know it's not going to focus very well because my my good webcam is broken now and i need to get a new one but i think it says or oh, neatum where 
It's either an N or a G. I think it might be a G, but it's just rubbed off a bit. Maybe it's an E. No, it's not an E. That's no, not an E. Anyway, made in England. Nice little thing there. Um, I got... Uh, oh, this is, you know, standard item, but quite cool. Um, probably going to get about 12 to 15 quid for this, I imagine. West, Mako, Brewed, Ginger Beer, Manchester. So not too far from, from us, Manchester. Um, yeah, quite nice. Little somewhere bottle. Um, some sort of little milk jug there. I can't see the name there, but it's something pottery. Sta oh, Staffordshire. We're based in Staffordshire, the potters. We've done this. Um, but yeah, it, you know, it's nothing amazing, but obviously it has a name to it, which is always good. Um, oh, I don't know what that says there. Ideal food, Vitrol. 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 I don't know. I think it says V I O L. Uh, bone marrow, a preparation of bone marrow, ideal an ideal fat food for children and something that's uh, politically incorrect, invalids. Um, so, yeah, that's that anyway. <laughs> Bit of an odd one. Um, so that's those. Right, sorry, we're going to have to speed up now because why do I always take so long? It's just, I get... Literally, I think I show you pretty much everything that comes through the door now, bar a few charity shop purchases and maybe a few little tiny bits of RA that I've done or snipes that I've done. Um, so I think that's maybe why the whole videos take so long because I'm actually showing you everything. Um, but if you don't want to see everything, you're quite welcome to comment down below and then I won't show everything. Um, but I just feel like it, it's nice to show you, you know, everything I've got all in one go. Um, right, I'm just going to go back onto the chat. Uh, see you all for the chat chat tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Tuesday tomorrow, isn't it? Um, bye, yeah, bye, they're all saying bye, Lisa. Uh, the smart reseller says nice jugs. Um, need bigger jugs, go well in pairs. Yeah, I, I, certain things like that I've been selling, like studio pottery wise, I've been putting on their own. Um, but there is certain pieces that I've Thought, like go well, that go well together that I've actually put together like that are obvious pairs um but yeah I mean like that is it is it worth listing really I mean I don't know it might be just a car boot job or something I, I honestly don't know but that was that one anyway I'm just gonna quickly go over there get this last well not the last thing but one of the last things um I did show you that right the companion set blast companion set quite a heavy one uh, that was in the nine pound plus commission job lot again, the whole comedy bid thing. Uh, so I got loads out of that job lot, and this is quite heavy. Um, but that's that. That's just a little companion set for by your fire. Um, so yeah, that was quite cool. I imagine like 10, 20 quid in that range, maybe fifteen quid, something like that. I'm, I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'll have a look at that one. Um, right, one more thing. Um, Right, one, one second, I'm just looking at that. Creamer would be a good key, keyword for that milk jug. Yeah, um, as I say, I don't know why I'm going to list it. I'll just whack it in car boot job lot or charity shop it or whatever. I don't know, but, um, you know, if it's really not worth much, it's, it's not worth me listing, you know, so listing it. So, anyway, one second. Oh, I've got a bit more to show you, actually, in there Right, so... One second, we're back where we are. Um, again, more stuff from the from the nine pound job. Ooh, what's that? The keys fell out. The keys. Right. I honestly think this is really beaten up. I don't think there's anything good inside of it. I don't think it's going to look very good when I look inside. Oh, maybe no, maybe not. It's not that. It's just a little swingy thing, pendulum. Um, swingy thing, a little swingy thing. Um. Yeah, pendulum's just in there that's rattling around, actually, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, but I thought it was going to be all, like, messed up inside, but it actually isn't. Um, you can have a look there for yourselves. Um, but, yeah, so that's that little mantle clock or something of the same effect. Um, I think that's what you call it, though, mantle clock, vintage one. Um, yeah, £9 plus commission job lock, just something extra in there. Um, and then finally, I think this is it for the £9 plus commission job lot. Another Le Creuset, uh, this time number 20, made in France. 
um, a, you know, a nice heavy solid pot here. Um, I imagine this would be something for... Hey! Hey! We can't do that now! Give me five minutes, I'm not done yet! Um, so, this is the soup here, um, I imagine, because it's got this little spout thing on it here, so then when you're done, um, you know, done heating up your soup, you can just pour it in, um, or maybe even a broth or something like that, maybe, I don't, I don't think so, or probably just soup. Um, well, that's quite nice, again, in that sort of uh, blood orange colour. Oh, there's a chip there. I think this is enamel, either way, on here. So I think there's a chip to the enamel there. Um, so that's not great. Um, but I think I could still sell it for some money, even with that chip. Um, but yeah, that's that one anyway, again, in the £9 job lot. Walnut clock, 1930s, 1950s. Ah, I was... Oh, right. Well, that's... Uh, that's... Um, Oh, what was I going to say? Uh, that's not what I was, I was thinking. That was like 1960s, so, yeah. You, I've learnt something there, anyway. Um, sounds like Crema would be a keyword for the Senna as well. Um, if you're not sure, use up a free auction listing, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I could do that on some of this stuff. Just um, get it out on auction, some of it. That would always be good. Um, does it have a lid? Oh, no, it doesn't have a lid, I don't think, unless it's... I don't think there was a lid, you know, so maybe that's what put a few people off bidding on that lot, but still, there's some great profit in it, so I'm not complaining. Um, but no, it doesn't have a lid, so that's going to make it a very unsaleable if it, you know, um, if it did have a, a lid originally, which I imagine it would have done. So, yeah, that's going to harm it a little bit, but yeah, oh well. Uh, worth 15 to 20 if it does not work. Uh, worth 15 to 20 if it... Uh, if it does not work, wow, that's, I didn't, I didn't think it would be worth that, even if it did, didn't work. Um, oh, I know, I know, I can um, talk to my granddad about it, because he's really into clocks, um, and he said, if you ever get any clocks, um, you know, let me see them, so he he's fixed up quite a few clocks before, so yeah, I think he sort of knows what he's doing in that area, I wouldn't say he's an expert or anything, but, you know, he sort of knows what he's doing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna to talk to my granddad about that clock. Um, but even if it, you know, if it doesn't work, 15 to 20 quid, I can't complain there. If you know, with all the other stuff that I've got out, that nine quid, that's just crazy. So yeah, happy with that. Uh, one, well, a few more things. But one second. Um, right. So this was. Oh, that's just spinning around here. This was the Tonka truck that I mentioned that I got a steal on. Uh, this was five pound plus commission. Now some parts of it are metal, some parts are plastic. Very big item, a nice bulky item. Definitely sort of a boy's toy. Um, and yeah, as I say, I got it for five pound plus commission. I think it was about six pound, um, including commission. Um, and you know, it's a little bit dirty. I'm gonna have to clean it up. I just looked inside there. It is a little bit dirty in, in the inside there, but it's quite cool. It is. I think it. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that very well, but 39005, um, which is like a reference number or something. Um, it's like Lego, you know, like the Lego set 79085 or something, you know, just sort of like that, I think. Um, but yeah, there's there's a few versions of these. There's actually a few versions of these, and, and one of them is, it, I don't think there's any listed, um, but there's like international solds. For really good money and there's international listed prices for really good money there's another one uh there's an actual uh, there's another one that um is, is sold for slightly less but either time you know e whichever one it is i'm still in for good profit because one of them goes for about 25 it was 20 to 30 quid and then the other one the really special one i'm thinking because there's obviously no UK sales history uh, in the last three months on eBay, but there are obviously international sales. I'm thinking I could get anywhere from about 50 to 70 quid for it. So I've got to do a bit more research into that, make sure that it is, you know, whichever one it is, um, and then list it. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be the latter one, which is the better money. Um, and then that'll be a, a really, really good bargain then. So, yeah. That was that one. I'm just going to very, very quickly show you this fishing stuff. I'm not going to go through loads of it, but I'm just going to very, very quickly show you a bit of it. One second. 
Now, this box. Whoa. Right. This box. I have not been through. I've not been through. I haven't a clue what's in here. Just going to flip back onto my screen so again I know where I am positioning wise. Right, I'm just going to move this back so I'm in position more. Um, basically, it's a Shakespeare box. I don't know whether that's good or anything. The actual, you know, the, the box that it's in. Um, and I paid £30 plus commission for this. So it was a bit of a pump. There's, um, it's all fishing related stuff. I think there's a few wheels in there, all that sort of stuff. The reason I took a punt on it was uh, because of this jacket, actually. Um, it's quite a nice jacket. And I do think these go for good money. It's a, um, it's a, if I can even get it open. It's a, don't know if you're going to see that, La Shamu or however you, however you pronounce it. However you pronounce it. I mean, I did get a B in my GCSEs in French, but I was never really any good at it. Um, I just sort of blagged my way through it. Um, La Shamu, Shamau, Sham, Sha, Shamio, Shami, Shamio, Shamio. I don't know, but it's a jacket anyway. You can feel it's quite good quality, actually. Um, and I've seen like one, one of these jackets sell for 70 quid. Not this exact one, but certain like fishing jacket, you know, like a fishing jacket similar. Um, and that was pre-owned, I believe. So I don't know. I don't know what my likelihood of getting 70 quid is. I'm not sure. I don't know whether this one is less desirable, more desirable. Um, I just saw that one and I thought, hang on, that looks similar. Um, it's a fishing jacket. It was in used condition, same brand, that sort of stuff. So I just took a sort of an educated guess on it. Um, and as I say, I'm hoping for okay money on this, even if I only get like 30 or 40 quid or something like that, which on something like that is achievable, is achievable on something like that, 30 to 40 quid, I, I can believe that. Um, so even if I just get that, that's virtually my money back and then anything in, in the job lot is then profit. Uh, so I'll show you a few bits and bobs in here. We've got like a, oh, that's, that's really bad. That's really that's terrible. That needs to wipe down. It's like a little kneeling pad. Um, so that's what that is. Um, we've got a, oh, whoa. We've got some interesting bits in here or something that could be worth money. We've got um, some little fishing like wheel things. Um, graphic, graphite Shakespeare. So this is from Shakespeare again. This one, we're all tangled up in there, so I uh, don't know how I'm going to deal with these, but I'm going to talk to my granddad about it because he'll sort of know what's what. Um, he's been a fisherman for a very, very long time, so he should know what's what with these. Um, but I'd say we're from Shakespeare, which is actually the same name as the box. There's obviously going to be some money in the box, but I don't know how much. Um, whether it's worth sticking on on its own, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's that one. And then this one is Sigma. Yeah, Sig Shakespeare. Oh, it's from Shakespeare again. And this one's called S Sigma. So yeah, there's certainly some money in these. Obviously, you can get ones of these that are big, big money. I don't think these are going to be big, big money or else I would have obviously been paying a lot more for the job lot because other dealers would have known uh, that these are big, big money. But yeah, that's those. Um, We've got a, I know, I suppose this is quite boring for some people. Um, we've got a Ryobi, oh, Ryobi, Ryobi. I've, I swear someone's mentioned that name before, Ryobi. R-Y-O-B-I, -R Ryobi. Ryobi, wow. So that could be something. I've heard, I've heard that before. I swear I've heard someone uh, talk about that name before, but yeah, Ryobi, so... That might be worth something, although it's very, very tangled up and stuff. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Um, we've got... Oh, I've got loads of bits and bobs, odds and sods in here. Loads of bits and bobs. Nivea skim things, oh, I don't know. Little bits and bobs in here. I don't think there's anything major. There's some sort of... Uh, not like a line in there. Um, 
But yeah, that was fucking beef bag. Yeah, there's a few little bits of nets and stuff in there that don't look amazing. Um, there's a little box here with some stuff in. A load of these things that don't even look like they've been opened. So these might be all right in a little job lot. Quite a lot of them there. There's about four, five, six. Um, and a few other little bits and bobs in here. I really don't know what I'm looking at, so I don't know what things are or what things are worth um well i know what they are a lot of finger clippers or fingernail clippers and stuff um but yeah that's that some sort of little weight like a, a weight on the end of your line um, but yeah that's that one second is there anything underneath oh there's a box underneath one sec Oh, there's a box underneath. There's a box underneath. One sec. One sec. And there is like some sort of net thing underneath the box. I don't even know how you get this box off. I don't. Oh, it smells a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Uh, so I'm very much like fish. I don't even know how you get that off, but it looks like there's some some bits and bobs in there. I, I don't know what they are quite, but it looks like some sort of line holders or something. I don't know. But yeah, there's something in there. And then finally, there's this thing here. So a little, a little net. I think this is what we use. We hold it in the water. Because I have been fishing with my granddad a few times, but never really paid it much attention because I've never really enjoyed it. But I think this is what we hold in the water, like to hold the fish, to, to keep the fish captured. Um, and then we obviously let it go or something. Um, but yeah, that's that. But it does seem to, oh God, it stinks of fish, this. Um, it does seem to have some sort of break or wear there. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to sell that, but yeah. That's that one anyway. And as I say, oh God, no, please don't be maggots. Please don't be maggots. Please don't be maggots. Oh, thank God. Thank God. There's just a load of uh, weights in there. Can you see that? Look like, like the one I showed you a minute ago. A load of like uh, weights to put on the end of your, your rod. So, you know what we need here right now? Carp fishing adventures. I'm sure he knows a lot about fishing. Carp fishing, if you're watching this on Catch Up, Please throw me some info down below. I'm struggling. Um, but yeah, so that's those. Um, and as I say, I think there might be some money in this box, this uh, Shakespeare box maybe. So yeah, I did take a real punt on that. I took a real bit of a risk on that. But I kind of figured with the jacket, I was kind of safe. I was kind of safe. And I knew that my granddad was into some of this stuff, so I know he can help me out with a little bit of it. So it's not terrible. Um, I can deal with it. So that's that. So I'll just, well, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sign off now because we've been such a long time. And then I will put everything back and sort everything out. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I'll just quickly go into the chat. Um, early 17th century, bow selector ads is the real deal. Is the real deal. Oh, I love that. One sec. The chat's flipping out. Right. Le Creuset spouted saucepan. It will still sell. Oh, good. Nice. Um, cement concrete truck. Ads. I recommend using isopropyl. Ads. propylene. Ads. Ads. propylene alcohol. 75% strength to clear, sanitize all the toys and remotes, walkmans, etc. Use medic medical gloves or you'll get an evil hangover the next morning uh, from a chemist for pennies. Ads is the real deal. Shamar, bow selector. Early 17th century Shakespeare. What, oh. um, what happened to the less items but better quality you mentioned a couple of months ago? No items under a tenner. What are you like, mate? I know, I know, I know exactly. I know. It, ugh, I just, I go, I, I say one thing, I do it for a little bit, and then I move on. That's me. That's like me. Um, 
And then Red Rocket says they're ledger weights. So I imagine that those things in the little tin were, were ledger weights. Um, so I might research them later on. I'll put the jacket on because I know what I'm doing with the jacket, sort of. But the rest of the stuff I'm going to leave. I'm going to wait till my granddad comes back and I'm going to, he's actually off fishing now on holiday fishing. Um, and I'm going to sort of ask him what's what. Um, and then obviously he'll be able to talk to me a bit about it. And then from that, um, I might be able to actually use some keywords and, and get some stuff listed and get some stuff researched. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Mix of everything today. Um, bits, bobs here, there, everywhere, you know, all sorts of different stuff. Um, I will be back with another video very soon, as I talked about, about my showing you my room, update on my room. And I also want to do a sales update. I'm going to try and hold myself to doing a sales update, uh, ne you know, this week sometime. I'm really going to try and hold myself to doing that because I really need to do that. Um, I've also got another video coming out as well um, in the next few weeks for um, – something on a new website that's just come out so i will leave it there guys thank you for watching and i will go and get some of this stuff sorted uh thank you for all the information advice all that sort of stuff as well so see you very soon guys